Hello and welcome to Uzima Lifestyle Center Eat for Health. We are so delighted that you joined us for this episode. I am your host, Janice McLean, and today we are going to make green bean casserole. Green bean casserole. Now for this green bean casserole, very important, I like to use fresh green beans. And these are my fresh green beans. Some people like to use the frozen, it's just as good, but my preference is fresh green beans. Next and very important, you can either use fresh mushroom or you can use the mushroom soup. If you're going to use the mushroom soup, make sure it's low salt, okay? Then, instead of using the cashew cheese, you can also use almond and you can just pulverize it in your Vitamix and you can make like a Parmesan cheese, right? So that is what we're going to use instead of the cashew cheese. And then we have our sweet peppers over there, very, very important. Our chopped onion, our chopped garlic, and then we have our salt. So these are all the ingredients that we really need. Optional, you can use some browning sauce. I'm not too much into that. So I am leaving it out of this recipe. So the things again, your green beans. We are going to use um, walnut, ground walnut, instead of the cashew cheese. And we are going to use here um, the mushroom soup. You can use fresh mushroom or you can use the mushroom soup. The advantage of using the mushroom soup is that you, are n you do not have to use the dairy-free sour cream. So you're getting two in one. So this is your mushroom soup, your Himalayan pink salt, your onion, your garlic, and your sweet peppers, okay? As my custom is, I'm going to go through some of the benefits of these ingredients. So now, we are going to talk a little bit about the benefits of green beans. You saw my green beans, nice and fresh. Now here are some of the benefits. Green beans, it boosts your immunity because it has a lot of antioxidant. It is a good source of vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin K. And these are all necessary for helping your body to function at optimum. As you can see, the green beans has a lot of fiber. It takes a little bit of time, if you're eating it raw, it takes a little bit of time for you to actually chew it to break it down. It has a lot of fiber. Now, again, as we said in the last episode, green beans, we didn't talk about green beans, but some of the benefits are like some of the things we did in the last episode. Green beans help to control your blood sugar, so it's very good for people who are diabetic. It has other diabetic benefits as well. It is a good source of fiber, as I said earlier. It is a good source of folates as well, and it also helps to lower your blood pressure. So people who are suffering from both diabetes and high blood pressure, this is a very good food to incorporate in your daily diet and as can be expected it promotes good cardiovascular health so green beans are really really very beneficial for your health now we are going to move on and we are going to talk a little bit about the benefits of mushroom whether you use the fresh mushroom or you use the mushroom soup here are some of the excellent benefits of mushroom Mushrooms are an excellent source of selenium, which is good for your bladder. Selenium is one of those trace minerals, and it's very, very important. It is also a very good source of vitamin B2 and B3. It improves your immune function. It is low calorie. It is very high in iron and it's very high in antioxidants. I'm going to repeat that. So, the fresh green and the fresh mushroom, or you can use the mushroom soup. 
make sure that it is low sodium very excellent source of selenium vitamin b2 b3 very good to boost your immune system and especially at this time of COVID, we need strong immune system lowers your calories and it's high in iron as a matter of fact i shouldn't say lower your calorie it's low in calories very calorie dense food and it's high in antioxidants which means it has a lot of properties that help your body to fight against diseases and then we have our regular things or himalayan pink salt or onion or garlic or sweet peppers etc What we are going to do here, we are going to saute or we're going to put our garlic in, put a little bit of olive oil in your pan, then we are going to put our garlic in. To this we're going to add our onions. And our sweet peppers. So you're going to let it saute for a little while. I'm going to cover it so that it sautes very well. Now when this is finished sautéing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my green beans to this. And then we're going to add the other ingredients and put it together. already it's sauteing you can get the nice aroma see the colors are looking very beautiful there gonna let it saute for a little bit more and to this we are going to add our green beans So we are going to allow our green beans to saute for just a few minutes. So now our green beans is saute. See how beautiful it looks. We're just going to leave that to saute just for a few more minutes. And while this is being saute, I am going to make the breadcrumbs using whole grain bread. So here we go. I have my bread, it's already toasted. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my toasted bread in my food processor or my Vitamix. Then I'm going to pulverize it a little bit. Here I have my breadcrumbs ready. So I'm going to bring my pan here with my sauteed green beans. So I'm going to take my pan with my sauteed green beans. I'm going to pour everything in my mixing bowl. Okay, great. Let's 
put this away. All right. So now we have our green beans all sauteing. You can take a look at the way it looks. Nice and ready to go. Now to this, I'm going to add my salt. And I'm going to add my mushroom soup. Make sure everything gets in there. Then I'm going to start mixing it together. Get this out of the way. All right. Remember, we are not using cashew cheese for this one. Instead, we are using walnuts. We blended up the walnuts, so. We have more like a, um, a Parmesan kind of cheese. So we are just going to spread that. Then we're gonna mix everything in. So once you start mixing, everything start looking really nice here. So we have everything mixed up in our bowl. All right, so now we are going to place this in our casserole dish. You can put a little oil in your casserole dish to make sure everything is dish there I want to make sure you know I am one that like to make sure I get everything this is great stuff here okay All right. so we have it in our casserole dish Now we're going to top it off now. Remember we made our twirl. We made our bread comes with our whole grains, whole grain bread. See how nice and fluffy that is? So we're going to take a little bit and sprinkle on top of our casserole here. Remember, you need to preheat the oven to 360 degrees. So while you're making this up, you're preheating the oven. And you bake this for 20 to 25 minutes. 30 minutes is ideal and you're good to go. Thank you much. So here we have it. This is the finished green bean casserole. You can have this with a little bit of rice, maybe some brown rice, and some of the holiday nut loaf that we made last week, and a salad, and this would be your complete meal. I hope you enjoyed making this. Please try it out and leave a comment on our page so we can know how yours came out. Thank you. To conclude this segment, we will make a very simple recipe and it's called tofu mayonnaise tofu mayonnaise 
as can be expected the main ingredient is tofu so we have our tofu here remember it should be firm organic silken tofu firm organic silken tofu then we have our nuts here you can use sunflower seeds you can use cashews or whatever nuts you have available then we have here our one third cup of water and then we have our two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice here we have our salt which is two, um, three quarter teaspoon of salt and then we have our garlic powder onion powder and a little bit of seasoning salt here so these are all the ingredients that we need now we have discussed before the benefits of tofu but because this is a new episode some individuals might not have seen the previous episode i'm just going to go these over very quickly one of the first benefits is that tofu is very good because it aids in maintaining a healthy cholesterol level so those people who have problems with their cholesterol this is a very good food to incorporate in your diet it helps you to strengthen your bones it improves your metabolic rate it provides relief from things like gout and it reduces one's risk of anemia so it helps to build up your blood your uh, the iron in your blood it also is very beneficial to prevent things like cancer in women who are postmenopause who have just gone over the menopause. So that's the benefit of the tofu. Now we have talked before about the benefits of the nuts, so I'm not going to go that over. So again, our ingredients: tofu. You have your nuts. You can also use sunflower seed. Your water. Your lemon juice. Your Himalayan pink Himalayan salt. You have your garlic powder, onion powder. I'm just going to add a little bit of seasoning, um, herbal seasoning to it. Okay, great. So now, it's very simple to make this recipe. All we are doing, we are putting the tofu in the blender. And we are going to blend it very smoothly. Okay, so all our tofu is in there. So we have our tofu here in our blender. So what we're going to do, the tofu is in the blender and we're going to blend it until it's smooth. We're going to add the one third cup of water to this and then we're going to blend it until it's smooth. We have our tofu blended and I'm going to stir it around a little bit to make sure it's okay. Then we are going to add the other ingredients. My salt onion powder, my garlic powder, and my little seasoning and I'm going to continue the blending process and then we want to add the lemon juice last. Good. All right. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to take it out here. See how it's nice and creamy? Now to this, we will add our little lemon juice and then I'm going to stir it up a little bit. Make 
get this out of the way here. Okay. So you see this is our tofu mayonnaise. You see how it looks nice and creamy? Now you can store this in the refrigerator in a glass bowl or in a glass bottle preferably. And this actually, when you chill it, it becomes a little thicker and it can actually last in your refrigerator for seven to 10 days. So this is your healthy vegan tofu mayonnaise. So today we have made our green bean casserole and we have also made our um, tofu mayonnaise. So I want you to try these two recipes Leave a comment on our page and let us know how yours came out. Remember before we go that you should subscribe to our page. Also click on the bell so that you'll be notified when new episodes are posted. Thank you very much for joining us today. I really enjoyed cooking with you. And so I want to encourage you to remember your body is God's temple. Take good care of it. Eat for optimal health.